So really equipping students, as you're mentioning, with how to navigate these isms is, is necessary for mm -hmm. success. It's one of those non-cognitive variables yes. that has been spoken and researched about that marginalized folks might have an experience with, but definitely need to have the skills um, for in order to succeed academically. Yes, those are very much tied so. together so inextricably. Closely linked. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So what are some of those, those, uh, those impacts? So um, when I think about the impact which we're going towards, um, I think about a, a whole list of, 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 of issues. And, mm -hmm. and uh, those of you viewing this talk, you can see those listed on the screen. Um, one of those at the top is dignitary harm, mm -hmm. which is um, a concept that I heard from uh, Kimberly Crenshaw, the legal uh, scholar and critical race theorist and intersectionality um, mm -hmm. scholar, who really spoke about the harm that occurs when somebody isn't valued for all of the identities that make up their worldview and who they are. Mm -hmm. Like if you have a threat to one of them, it's gonna be a threat to your entire personhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Professor Crenshaw was theorizing that that threat to one's self-worth can then prevent somebody from actualizing their full potential. Exactly. And so yeah. the full potential that we want our students to actualize has to do with earning that degree, mm -hmm. right? And developing uh, their personhood holistically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. socially, psychologically, mm -hmm. spiritually. Mm -hmm. And if they're feeling that they don't, they're not worthy of that, mm -hmm. if they feel that they're not worthy of good things to come to them, mm -hmm. then there's going to be automatic roadblocks. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what leads to some of these other things on, mm -hmm. on this list, such right. as academic disengagement, yeah. which is what we don't want to happen, right. meaning that there are so many threats in that climate, either mm -hmm. in the classroom or from the peers or from the professor, mm -hmm. that the student um, feel so threatened that they don't want to engage with that environment, so mm -hmm. they don't go to class. Right. right. I had kind of these experiences during my right. first year exactly. of undergrad. I almost mm -hmm. didn't go back because right. of that threat. Mm -hmm. um, thankfully, I was able to get connected to resources that helped mm -hmm. me along the way. Yeah. And that's what we're hoping to provide for, for students now.